All right, let's practice increasing subtraction patterns. And this is fun. Patterns are fun. Patterns help us solve other problems. It's like they're giving us little hints or clues along the way. So let's start. I see that in each problem here, I'm missing the first number. That's great, okay? Now, I'm doing subtraction. I might not be the best at subtraction, but you know what I am good at? I'm good at addition. So I'm going to use addition fact families to help me find these missing numbers. So for example, I have eight and I have one, okay? What is eight plus one? It's nine. So guess what? That should be my answer. And let's check. Is nine minus one eight? It is. It's working. Let's do the next one, okay? I have 80. What will I add to it? 10, because that's my other number. What is that equal? That equals 90. So that means 90 should go here. Is 90 minus 10 80? Absolutely. Now I could keep following this addition routine, but look at what pattern is forming here. What is in each of these problems? There's a nine, okay? And what about zeros? No zeros, one zero, which means what should go here? Two zeros. And then what should go here? Three zeros. Look at, it works. So let's put it in. We have nine, 90, 900, 9,000. Let's do another one. Six minus two. 6 minus, 6 minus 2, 60 minus 20, 600 minus 200, 6,000 minus 2,000. Okay, I don't have the fancy addition way this time, but that's okay, we don't need it for this. Okay, what is 6 minus 2? 6 minus 2 is 4. Look here, I have 6 minus 2 here. What is 6 minus 2? 4. What's zero minus zero? Zero. Do you see a pattern forming? I do. What will my difference be for 600 minus 200? 400. And how about 6,000 minus 2,000? That'll equal 4,000. If you can answer the first couple, you will have no problem figuring out the rest of the pattern and filling it in. All right, let's do another one. We have nine minus seven, and then by tens, hundreds, and thousands. So, same thing, I can't use addition to help solve it, but we can do nine minus seven. What is nine minus seven? It's two. All right, look it. What's nine minus seven? Two. What's zero minus zero? Zero. Do I have a pattern forming? Yes. How many zeros will go in this third problem? Two. These two numbers are both in the hundreds, so so should this one. How about this last one? You know, nine minus seven is two. How many zeros? One, two, three. Nice job. So we should go two, twenty, two hundred, two thousand. All right, this time we have to figure out the missing number in the middle. Okay, this might be a little tricky at first because we've done the first number and the last number, but not this middle number. That's okay. We can still use fact families. We can't add because we can't have a number greater in this spot, okay? So we can still subtract, just do seven minus five, which equals two. Okay, so that means a two goes here. Okay, that also means if we follow it, 70 minus 50, 7 minus 5 is 2, 0 minus 0 is 0. Do we have our pattern forming? We do. So 700 minus what should be 500? 
200. And 7,000 minus what should be 5,000? 2,000. See, we save time, but we're still being accurate because we know what our pattern is. Next one, 9 minus 5. Okay, we can just answer this. 9 minus 5 is 4. 90 minus 50 is what? Okay, my base fact is 9 minus 5, which is 4. And 0 minus 0 is 0. We have our pattern forming. So what would 900 minus 500 be? 400. And what would 9,000 minus 5,000 be? 4,000. You are getting this. You find the pattern, life is good. Oh no, we're missing the first number. Can we handle it? Yes, we can. Okay, when we're missing the first number, what do we do to help? We add. Okay, so our first number has to be 9. Okay. So, because 9 minus 8 equals 1. So does that mean that this should be 90? Is 90 minus 80 10? Yes, it is. So what will my next number be? Blank minus 800 equals 100. 900. And what will my last number be? 9,000. Next one. 7 minus 6. What is 7 minus 6? It's 1. What will the next number be in the pattern? Because I see my basic fact is the same every single time. 7 minus 6. So I know 7 minus 6 is 1. So 70 minus 60 is 10. How about in 700 minus 600? 100, we just added another zero on. 7,000 minus 6,000 is? 1,000. Okay, middle number missing again. Can I add to find the missing number? No. Can I subtract what I do have? Yes. So, 9 minus 3 equals 6. Okay, so that means that 6 goes here. And what do we see? My basic fact is the same every time, 9 minus 3. So if we know that 6 works for the basic fact, what will be the next number in my pattern? 6, then 60, then 600, then 6,000. Let's do another one. 6 minus blank equals 2. All right, let's use what we know. Let's rearrange because it's middle number we're missing. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Okay, so if that's a 4, what will 60 minus blank be to equal 20? 40. How about the next one? 400. And the last one would be 4,000. Look at the pattern. We're just adding a zero on every time to the place and we're keeping the four. Last one, four minus what equals one. If we can solve that by doing four minus one, we'll figure out the rest of our numbers in no time. So four minus one equals what? Three, okay, since I know that and my basic facts are the same in each section, 40 minus what is 10? 30. 400 minus what is 100? 300. And 4,000 minus what is 1,000? 3,000. Excellent job with these patterns. Great job today. I'm so proud of you.